The first step to understanding blockchain and its potential is to understand that blockchain is not about money. Using a blockchain to create digital currencies is just one of its game-changing applications. On a deeper level, blockchains are decentralized databases. They're also the world's most secure and most efficient type of database. But let's first look at how a centralized database works to understand how blockchains are different. A central database is basically a computer where a few people have password access to store and edit data. Sometimes there's an added level of security, depending on what kind of information is stored. Central databases build the foundation of our world's organizations and the global economy, storing over 60 zettabytes of data in 2022. But they're also very vulnerable. A Wikipedia article dedicated to major data breaches estimates their annual cost above $2 trillion. That's 2% of the world's economy. Data breaches affect some of the world's biggest organizations, including Facebook, Microsoft, and even the US Army. The article lists reasons like hacks, inside jobs, accidents, poor security, and a host of other reasons. We'll link to the article in the description and highly recommend checking it out. Blockchains, on the other hand, store data on many computers, which are called nodes. And there's no passwords to store or edit information. Usually, anyone can join the network with their computer and start competing to store incoming data based on a set of rules. The first node to pass the rules gets to store the next block of data and receives a reward. Then all the other nodes add the new block to their copy of the blockchain and compete to create the next block. The benefits of a blockchain is that the data is very trustworthy because we can only add new data to a blockchain and existing data can never be edited. That's why they're called immutable. Blockchains are also more secure. While central databases keep their source code secret, blockchains are usually open source, allowing them to be scrutinized by thousands of hackers and coders. Hackers try exploiting them from day one and bounty hunters earn rewards for identifying or fixing issues in advance. Both Bitcoin and Ethereum fixed numerous issues in their early days, but haven't been hacked since, despite storing hundreds of billions of dollars in value. Blockchains also reduced corruption. Let's say we use the Ethereum network to store the voting results of a general election. You'd have to bribe at least 150,000 people to fake the results in your favor. That's 50% of the nodes contributing their computers to store and process data on Ethereum. This number grows by 150,000 nodes for every block further into the past. Ethereum creates a new block every 12 seconds, so you'd have to bribe the equivalent of 1.08 billion nodes to fake voting results stored only a day ago. Due to these properties, you'd probably prefer using a blockchain for a lot of important applications, like storing your digital money and sensitive personal information. This becomes even more important when we consider the development of AI and automation. Best-selling author Yuval Harari writes that AI won't just take millions upon millions of jobs in the next decade, but that it will soon have enough data and computing power to hack our feelings, opinions, and decisions. Already today, we are leaving more and more decisions to algorithms, like what's the best way to get around town, what book to read, and which movies to watch. Soon, AI will help us decide what to study, where to work, whom to marry, and whom to vote for. Allowing AI to be trained on secretly stored data gives immense power to the few organizations who own these servers. And it will spread the enormous wealth that AI is expected to generate to very few individuals. Storing this data on public blockchains lets individuals choose whether they want to provide their data for AI training and could spread the wealth generated from AI and automation over the network's participants. Recent blockchain innovation like smart contracts, decentralized autonomous organizations, and zero-knowledge proofs allow us to operate worldwide decentralized organizations that can be used to manage these powerful technologies in a more transparent and democratic manner, while allowing anyone to invest in them to share in their benefits. If you want to learn more about these exciting developments, subscribe to our channel, where we'll post regular videos about this fast-growing field. In our next video, we'll look at liquidity pools and how they allow us to trade assets in a peer-to-peer -peer manner, directly on a blockchain and without the need for trusted middlemen, banks or exchanges.